Hey everybody, I'm Hamza Kramza, and today we'll be checking out a very fast 19 population scout rush build using the Franks. While some other civs like the Tartars and the Mongols can achieve a 19 population or quicker scout rush, I believe that the Franks do it best with their early HP boost and a strong castle age transition with their knights. All that's left is to show you how. Hope you enjoy. So as someone who really, really, really likes playing as the Franks on the random map ladder, I'm always looking for ways to be more effective with the Civ. Recently though, there seems to be a trend of making Arabia and other open land maps into Palisade Arena, and I realize that a standard 22 or 21 population scout rush is not going to be so effective past a certain elo, since it's likely that my opponent is already safe behind their walls. I also realize that the Franks have the tools necessary to actually go and beat those walls by advancing faster. The tools I'm talking about, of course, are the Franks Civ Eco Bonus, allowing their foragers to gather 25% faster. This allows the Franks to both advance quicker than a standard Civ and maintain their Eco throughout the entire early Feudal Age. While berries are normally the slowest resource income in the entire game, they end up being just as efficient as a Dark Age Lumberjack with this bonus. That being said, everything else about the build is easier to show than it is to tell, so let's get right into it. All right, and here we go. So, uh, as always, we're gonna start out standard, gonna build our two houses, sheep scout, and we're actually gonna send two of our sheep back to the town center here um, because I don't wanna risk running out of sheep early here, and you will see why. We're gonna send the first two through seven population onto our sheep, and um, that's as standard as you get there. Now, you're really gonna want to make sure that you're doing some good sheep scouting here, because it is absolutely crucial that you find where your boars are very, very early on in this build. So we're going to be pulling our boar uh, with our 8th population villager, and I know this is extremely early, but it's kind of the only way that i found you can reach that 500 food uh, point by, you know, the 19 population mark. So uh, with our 8th villager, um, once it actually gets produced here, we're going to task it out over to the boar, and we are going to go and lure that boar. So, you know, like I said, this is obviously a very early boar lure, but it is uh, a little bit necessary here. And we're also going to start tasking our 9 through 11 population onto the wood line. And there we go. And we're going to juggle around the villager a little bit. Okay, perfect. And he actually might die. Okay, perfect. Okay. So now we have uh, some of our sheep. We still need to find our second boar. I'm not exactly sure where it is. Um, maybe, oh, yep. It's on the far left of the mini map there. So perfect. And we are going to try and stabilize the economy here. Now, just while we have a few seconds here, the reason why we're pulling in our boars so early is because you actually gather food faster from hunt than you do from sheep or from berries. So we're really trying to maximize our food income as quickly as possible and make sure that we're getting all the food necessary to actually go and you know uh, execute on this build. So we're juggling around the villager there and we're going to send another, uh, our 12th population villager over to go and lure the boar. And our 13th population villager is going to go and build a house. So we're then going to task our 14th population over to the boar because what's going to happen here if we actually send that 14th population over to berries then there's going to be some dead time um, gathering or some berry gathering dead time uh, with your villager because uh, there's going to be two villagers building the mill or when the villager building the mill finishes um, then it's going to be too late for the villager who was already on berries. Uh, another quick uh, and important point to make is you sh should definitely be scouting where your opponent is um, right after you find your second boar, right? You find your sheeps, you find your boar, and you need to be over at your opponent's base because you want to know where to strike hardest when you have your early scouts. Now, your 15 through 19 population are all going onto berries there, so by the end of this, we should have around 6 on berries. And pretty simple, right? So, 
Um, what I also did here, as uh, underneath the town center there, as you might be able to see, is I put two sheep next to the boar. And the reason being is there's going to be too many of the... Um, too many villagers on one sheep and they'll end up slaughtering a second sheep anyways so why not just make it easier for the pathing of the villagers and separate it into two okay so we sent the 19th population over to our berries and okay perfect and we're garrisoning the villagers we're trying to get our food there a little bit sloppy there on the uh gather uh food gather but now we're, now that we're advancing up to the next age we're going to send five over to wood, and we're not going to build a new lumber camp, but we're going to send five over to wood, and that means we're going to have eight on wood total. Now we have four on sheep, we have six on our berries, and we are looking strong here. So now that we have all this, your sheep are going to last you, uh, you know, a little bit, a few minutes into feudal age there. So you're not going to run out of there and you won't have to build farms immediately. And that's kind of what this whole build's about, right? Um, we're also going to be getting enough food income from our berries for us to actually go and sustain scout and villager production. So uh, one of the things, if you do this with a standard sieve, like let's say you do it with Saracens, Byzantines, Magyars, you know, anyone, um, you're going to run into issues uh, with food and you're going to have some either uh, stable idle time or you're gonna have some uh, town center idle time so we're building our barracks we're building our house and looks like we're about completed with our barracks and we're gonna be reaching the castle age, or the feudal age here in just a moment so we're gonna want to get two villagers to build our stable we're gonna want to build that instantly queue up a couple villagers get double bid axe and we're looking good looking good now uh, if you're experienced and you know you're you kind of know how to operate or you know find your way around a standard scout rush then you can kind of stop watching the video from here because i'm just going to transition this build into a uh scout uh into night rush so or scouts into knights so we're just going to keep sending all of our new villagers onto the wood line and eventually once we get a, around nine or ten on one wood line we're going to want to send uh, a few villagers over to build another lumber camp when we can afford it. And now that we have our second lumber camp up, every 60 wood that we get, we're going to want to go and actually build a farm with that. So we're just walling off here. Now one of the cool things about putting on aggression this early is you're probably not going to have to wall immediately unless you're getting drush or your opponent is doing a similar strategy. Um, reason being is your opponent's not going to have any military in your base at this time, so there's nothing to actually wall. Um, if you did have concerns though about um, you know your opponent being able to respond, or somehow you lost all of your scouts to the town center, or something to that effect, um, or to you know some uh, spears, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull off um, either another one of your berry villagers, or you're going to want to pull off, pull off a, a wood villager to actually go and help your uh, dedicated waller slash um, house builder here um, continue the walls. So once our farms or once our berries expire here, we're actually going to build all of, uh, farms with these uh, berry villagers and have everyone who can't build a farm just yet tasked to a uh, straggler tree near the town center. So we're aiming for around 18 on food, um, roughly 10 on wood, and 5 on gold. So if we do the quick maths there, I believe that's around 33 villagers. And okay, about that. Now um, this is kind of the flexible part, right? So say you lose a lot of scouts, or say you recognize that your opponent is going into archers, you're going to want to throw down a an archery range, or if you know uh, they're only building archers, maybe you can th you know continue to build a few more scouts. In which case, you're not going to be able to go up at 33 villagers, right? So what do you do if you can't go up at 33 villagers? You just keep producing villagers, and whatever is most convenient for you at that point to actually advance is the timing that you're going to want to advance with. 
So if it ends up being, okay, you have 37 villagers and now all of a sudden you have the resources to advance, okay, then just use it and advance then. Um, advancing too early can be a death sentence, so just make sure that you're in a good position with map control and um, you can actually afford to do so. So uh, as we, uh, I kind of missed the prompt there, but uh, you're going to send your 29 through 33 population villagers onto gold there. And we have about two more coming. And after we're actually done this, we're going to research wheelbarrow, but we're going to do some light raiding here. Um, not too hard because we don't want the uh, easy AI to resign here. And that would just be kind of disastrous in a build order video where I'm trying to actually get the castle age for you. So once we have our 33 villagers, we're going to research wheelbarrow and then we're going to build our blacksmith. So once wheelbarrow and blacksmith are finished, we should be in the clear here for a good uh, castle age time. And again, this, that's where the build becomes flexible as well, because on your way to castle age, you can build another stable and go into, you know, two stable uh, knights. You can build a third stable, take all of your villagers off of wood, put them onto gold and go into a really all in, you know, three stable push. Um, but that's completely up to you at this point and more so it's up to the situation of the game. So whatever um, the situation of the game calls for is kind of what you need to adapt into and uh, make your adjustments on that. So we're going to garrison our villagers in the town center here and we're going to click up. Alright, so um, at this point the build is pretty much finished. You know, uh, just you can kind of follow up and um, you know build a stable like I uh, or like I suggested, or um, you know maybe build an archery range if they have tons of archers and go into skirm. But it's up to you at this point, right? You've successfully completed the 19 pops uh, scout rush. Um, hopefully, you did some damage with your initial scouts, and you're going to be advancing faster than uh, your opponent. But that's you know. Like I said, up to the game there. That being said, um, there's not much else to talk about for this build, and I feel like at this point uh, I'm ranting a little bit, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, only thing I would ask is just check out Discord down in the description below, and if you have any suggestions or comments on how to actually improve these videos, whether it's uh, text, overlay, or what have you, um, please leave it in the comments, and I will do my best to incorporate it on the next video. But until then, happy build ordering, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.